now figure skaters will reach the adult level, not at the age of 15, but at 17. The gifted student Tutbirds will suffer the most from the reform. The future of figure skating is being decided at the ISU Congress in sunny Thailand. Delegates from different countries gathered for the first time since 2018 to discuss proposals for improving skating sports. The most ambitious innovations were adopted in the first days. So far, everything is not going in favor of Russia. Firstly, the suspension of our athletes has been extended until further notice. Secondly, Russian Alexander Lakarnik will leave the post of vice president of the ISU due to the failure to accept an amendment to increase the permissible age of officials from 75 to 80 years. And, thirdly, the age of admission of athletes to adult competitions will be gradually raised to 17 years. The latest news has become the most significant in figure skating over the past few days. And although the decision of the officials was expected and was announced during the Olympics in Beijing, the reaction of the figure skating public turned out to be quite emotional. They see that we have a huge number of girls and boys in our country, they want to block it. That's why all this nonsense is started. You can block it only by suspending it from the competition, Tatyana Tarasova told Match TV. Figure skating is being killed. All this is directed against our stunningly successful national team and especially against the girls. Although these girls, who are now in the legs, will be able to conquer everything by 2024, if we are still allowed. But this is not being done yet. Nothing, we are strong, we have withstood various difficulties, and we will pass this and declare ourselves," Elena Tchaikovsky told TASS. Of course, it's all because of our girls. If there were 15-year-old champions in America, girls who would win all competitions, this issue would not even be considered. This is both good and bad at the same time. On the one hand, it removes the possibility of injuries and does not cripple the child's psyche, and on the other hand, it takes away the chance for girls to become Olympic champions, Sport Express quotes Tatyana Navka. But is everything really so scary for our figure skaters? How will the age limit increase? And why was he accepted? The International Skating Union has announced an increase in the age limit in figure skating to 17 years. The reform concerns not only single skating, but also pair skating and ice dancing. The good news is that it will be phased in, in the next season, the qualification will remain the same, it will be possible to become an adult, if you are 15 years old before July 1, in the 2023-2024 season, it will rise to 16 years, starting from the 2024-2025 season, the qualification will be 17 years. This decision was made on the basis of data received from the ISU Medical Commission which stated that excessive loads on the body at an early age affect the mental state of an athlete. He was supported by more than 86% of coaches and figure skaters. A survey conducted among figure skaters and coaches around the world showed that raising the age limit is not just desirable, it is necessary. 86% of respondents supported raising the age limit. The main reasons for this were the prevention of injuries, the lengthening of careers, the improvement of the image of the sport, said the chairman of the Athletes Commission, Olympic champion Eric Radford. Raising the age limit, the fight against Russia? There is an opinion that the increase in the age limit was taken to harm Russia, stopping the dominance of our skaters. If this is the case, then the ISU is unlikely to achieve its goal. Confirmation of this is the results of the Olympic Games in Beijing, where the first two places were taken by our athletes over 17 years old, Anna Shcherbakova and Alexandra Trusova. The decision of the ISU Congress should not affect Russia's results at international competitions if our athletes are allowed there. There are still a lot of strong figure skaters in our country, and not all of them are at a very young age. Olympic stars Anna Shcherbakova, 18 years old, and Alexandra Trusova, 17 years old, do not plan to end their careers. Elizaveta Tektamashiva, 25 years old, who dreams of showing a purely executed program with a quadruple sheepskin coat at the competition, is not going to leave either. Aliona Kosternaya, 18 years old, who left a Terry Tutbirds for Elena Bayanova this offseason, plans to compete for the Olympics in Milan. Will 16-year-old figure skaters have to return to the juniors? 
and will anyone else have time to become an adult? Thanks to the decision to raise the age limit, skaters who have already reached adulthood, but they are less than 17 years old, will not have to return to the juniors in stages. So Camila Valiva, Daria Yusachiva and Maya Kromik, all 16 years old, nothing threatens, they can still be counted on. Moreover, the figure skaters who competed in juniors this year will have time to become adults, 15-year-old Sofia Samadolkina, Sofia Muraviva, Adelia Petrosian and Anastasia Zanina. Who will the increase in the age limit hurt the most? The most painful increase in the age limit will hit those who did not have time to be born before July 1, 2007. The most offensive situation is with Sofia Akativa, she lacked only seven days to reach adulthood next season. Due to a change in the rules, Tutbirds' student will make her debut in adults only in the 2025-2026 season, that is, right before the Olympics in Milan, she will then be 18 years old. The most talented junior in Russia will have to stay in the juniors for as much as three more years. If not for the innovations, she could have competed in adults in a year. Only in the Olympic season will Plashenko's student Veronica Zelina make her debut, she did not have enough 10 months to have time to reach adulthood in the 2023-2024 season. The increase in the age limit will not stop the dominance of Russian figure skaters. There will be no fewer talented and able-bodied athletes due to innovations, the only question is their competent preparation. Specialists will have to adjust the training plan so that skaters reach the peak of form not at 15, but at 17 and later. The issue of non-admission of our athletes to international competitions is much more acute now. The extension of the suspension hits our figure skating more than the notorious age limit, to which our specialists have been morally ready for a long time.